Can I have a word? What do you want to talk about? Look, I know I ain't the easiest man in Far Harbor to get along with. Social graces? Well, that's never been my strong suit. Thing is, most folk in Far Harbor ain't worth a damn anyway. All of them cowering behind their wall, too scared to fight for their home. Can't like someone I can't even respect. And, uh, well, that brings me to you. You lack social graces? What makes you think that? Yeah, yeah. I ain't going soft on you now. Don't be thinking that. All I'm saying is it's good to meet someone who can take care of themselves for a change. Hell, I ain't been close to a lot of folks in my life. And there's even fewer I'd call a friend, but who knows. We stick together long enough, Captain, that it might just be that you're my next one. Does this mean I have to give you a hug or something? <laughs> Hell no. All right, enough of this blubbering. You lead and I'll follow. Seems to be working out so far. Hi. Say, Captain, can we talk for a minute? All right, let's talk. I appreciate it, Captain. At my age, any chance to make a new friend is, well, it ain't something I'd expect to happen much, but I'm glad it did. There's more to it than that, though. Long time ago, when I was a young man, I had a sweetheart. Hannah was her name. And we planned to get married and raise a family and all that. Well, we had a place out in the fog we used to meet so we could be alone. Damn children of Adam jumped us. They took her and left me for dead. Took two months to recover from my injuries. By then, it was too late. They'd warped her mind and turned her into their ways. It was only later I learned she was carrying our child. Of course, the baby didn't stand a chance with all that radiation. Adam's will, she called it. Anyway, she died a few years later. Trappers got her. Or so them lunatics said. I guess that was Adam's will, too. This is very personal information, Longfellow. Why tell me now? Because I need you to know where I'm coming from. Truth is... What happened to Hannah was her choice, and so be it. But I never got to be a father, and that's what I regret. If I had a son or daughter, well, I'd have someone to pass on all my learning to. But you, you're the first person I've met that's worth teaching what I've got to teach. I ain't good with telling people that I'm grateful, but you've given this old hunter a sense of purpose. And a reason for living. That's something I ain't had for a long time. You really mean that? Every word of it, Captain. Well, that was all I had to say. I appreciate you hearing me out. <laughs>